So this is Eric and there is a shavings fork in that corner. I don't know if you just saw it. Uh, the reason I'm talking about the shavings fork is this shavings fork caused me a big problem this day. You'll see in a moment he becomes a bit spooky and he's really looking at this corner. So what I make sure that I do is that when he wants to be spooky, I just give the hand forward, rub him on the neck, and then I make that negative area a positive area for him. So as you can see, the reaction is getting now smaller. Rather than getting larger every time because I'm fighting him and shoving him and telling him that it's terrifying, I just keep the inside bend, and then when I'm near that area, somewhere in that corner, I give the pressure. Every time the inside hand goes forward, and I just say, well done, you're in the right place, this place is a positive place. Every single time the inside hand goes forward, or rubs him on the neck, it doesn't have to be a full on pat, it can just be a little thing. I then change the rein, and then we had some histrionics, he decided, absolutely no chance can he go near that shaving fork and he gives a really huge reaction I don't know if in the past maybe he's been told off when he spooks but this is where we need to change his mindset he needs to understand that he's not in trouble for being afraid but that we can make that place a positive one rather than a negative one so there when he spooked I just kept the right rein to say no we've just got to keep going right and here I just lift the inside hand to take the inside bend and then again in the area he works before it, not during the shaving fork area, and then after it. And then you can see, because of this, he creates some positivity. He will then move past the area while softening and relaxing his neck. Every time there you can see the hand goes forward and his neck relaxes, and that is the important thing. And here I've just not got enough inside bend. I just didn't quite get that inside bend, so he just goes to rush past a little. So I just take inside rein, inside leg, move the body across. And then here I get then a better reaction and I can keep the body in a better frame. He doesn't pull through the rein and come against me. So the key is to be turning a negative into a positive. Every time I come into the area that he finds scary, I change my reaction. So rather than going, yeah, you're scared, me too, mate, let's hold, hold hands and create some tension. Every time I come to that area in the arena, I just go, okay, we'll just sacrifice the schooling a little bit for a minute in return for some relaxation. And this meant that then the whole session could have a more positive throw on it rather than being like oh there's this corner with the shaving fork and I can't use it and that's the end of it. So I hope you guys found this helpful and that maybe it helps one of you with a spook one day on your horse.